the 49.9 megawatt Hudson Ranch 1 geothermal plant, now known as the John L. Featherstone plant, was commissioned in March 2012 in Imperial Valley, California. It is the first geothermal plant to go online in the Salton Sea area in 20 years. It was renamed after a geothermal pioneer in the area and one of the founders of Energy Source. The $400 million project began construction in 2010 in difficult landscape with heavy mineralization within the brine that threatened to clog the geothermal system. Energy Source and Symbol Minerals managed an extraction process to clear the brine that is now being used to manufacture batteries. Salt River Project in Arizona is purchasing the output of the project under a 30-year power purchase agreement. Energy Source said it expects to start drilling for its 49.9 megawatt Hudson Ranch 2 project and hopes to start construction in 2013. The Caribbean island of Dominica is thought to have the potential for 1,300 megawatts of geothermal generating capacity. The government of Dominica signed an agreement with Iceland Geosurvey to drill three exploration wells to test for geothermal potential on the island in December 2011. The French Development Agency and the European Development Fund financed the project. ISOR used a slim well concept, which drills holes of four inches or less in diameter to depths of 1,800 meters. Slim hole drilling is economical, but also helps determine what the resources consist of and if they are usable for electricity production. Results are well, and researchers are confident that the wells will be hot enough to produce electricity. And the winner of the 2012 Best Geothermal Project Award is the John L. Featherstone Geothermal Plants.